Hi everyone. Today uh, we're going to show you on the forecasting techniques that we have learned earlier. And for this tutorial, uh, we're going to look into three techniques and then we will do some uh, error measurement in which we will compare these three techniques and indicate which one is more accurate. So from the question, they give us the data on the student enrollment, semester 1 to 4. And then from the question, we can see that uh, they, give a, uh, they, they need us to answer the first technique. So we're going to use knife method. The forecast was semester 5. And then the next one, we're using the moving average method, also for semester 5. But from the question, I didn't see any uh, numbers for the moving average. And no, so we assume the three moving average, a three period moving average. And the third technique that they ask us to do the exponential, smoothing with the alpha 0 0.3 for semester 5. And then lastly, we need to compare these three forecast techniques using MAD and DK, which more is more accurate. Okay, we will answer these three questions first. And we start with knife method, then followed by moving average. We assume that three moving average since there's no quest, there's no information here. And then exponential with alpha 0 0.3. So and then finding MAD. So we need to fill up this. Uh, numbers here, okay? So we start with, uh, this is the actual data and we need to answer for semester 5, we start with naive. So naive is very easy, we're using the previous uh, semester. So for semester 5, it's 290, in which we use the semester 4 data. And then we move to 3 moving average method, for techniques. Uh, so we're going to use the, since we're going to to forecast semester 5, so we need to use the three previous data, semester 4, semester 3, and semester 2, and we do the average. So we get 350. And then for exponential smoothing, we have to do all from the top. Okay. So for this case, since F1, they don't give us any uh, forecast, so an assumption, so there's no data for F1. So moving to F2, we will use naive, in which for this case, we will, use, we will be 370. And then for semester 3, we will be use the, for the exponential uh, formula, using this formula. And then we fill up all the requirements here, in which that this is the previous uh, semester forecast. And then here is the alpha is 0 0.3. And then in the bracket is the actual uh, previous semester minus the forecast of previous semester, we get 352. And then we do for semester four, and then this is the answer that they're looking for. So we have 353.98, so we need to run up to 354. So we have answered the question for one, two, and three. And now we are going to answer the final question. Compare the three forecasts that we, we did just now using MAD. So these are the data that we calculated earlier. But for the error measurement, we need to fill up all the data that we can get here. Okay. So, and then for semester five, it's not will be included in the error measurement because there's no actual data. So we have Take it off. Okay, so after we take off the semester 5 data, so this uh, data we need to fit in. We start with naive. So the first, uh, there's no data, and then we have to do all the forecast for naive for semester 2, until semester 4. Okay, and then we move to 3 moving average. So since this 3 moving average, so first semester, no data. To take a note that and only we can do for semester four, in which we get the average for semester four is 376.6. We don't have to 377. And for exponential, we have no problem because we started earlier from the F1, uh, from the first semester forecast until semester four. 
So now we are going to do the absolute value of the error. Okay. So we need to have another table here. This is the actual minus forecast and we need to, to get the absolute value. So for first semester, there's no data here. And then we only start on the second semester. So we're going to do for the ninth. So the first one is going to be actual minus uh, forecast for naive and it must be exponential even though it's negative because the absolute because it's a absolute value. So we need uh, we only can write positive number here. So it's 60. Okay. And then we feel for the third semester and fourth semester, okay, for 50 minus 3. 110 to 90 minus 450 absolute value. And we did the same thing for three moving average and also for the exponential. Okay, after we complete the, the uh, absolute value, absolute deviation, so we need to do the sum. So we have to sum up all the uh, error here. Okay, so we have 360 for naive and then 87 for moving average. And then for exponential, we have 249. And then we use the MAD. MAD formula is the sum divided by the number of error. For the naive, we have 360 and number of error, we have 1, 2, 3. So we have 360 divided by 3, we have 120. And we'll do the same thing for the three moving average. In this case, we have only one error here divided by 1 and then for exponential we have 1, 2, 3. So 249 divided by 3. So we have 3 uh, MAD here. So uh, to, to conclude which one is more accurate, we need to find the smallest MAD. For this case, we can conclude that exponential is more accurate because its MAD is smaller. So we have answered all the questions. So hope you understand and thank you.